Mabuhay, it's proudly designed and developed by Filipino engineers. That's what we can all declare once the HET, a five-coach hybrid train, finally starts dragging down our country's rails. The DOST, or the Department of Science and Technology, has successfully test-run it and hopes the Philippine National Railways would seriously take a look at it for its use. To give us more insights into this, we have invited to moderate today engineer Robert Dizon, Executive Director of the DOST MIRDC, or the Metals Industry Research and Development Center. Welcome once again to Motoring Today, Engineer Dizon. Good afternoon, Butch, and to all the viewers of Motoring Today. Now, kindly briefly describe to us this proudly Pinoy-made HET. The HET, or the hybrid electric train, is very much uh, the same as the one we talked about before, the road train. Except that now, this is a real train that runs not on the road, but on the railway, specifically the railway of the Philippine National Railways. So uh, technology-wise, they are both the same. They are powered by uh, uh, primarily by a diesel electric generator set and secondarily by batteries. So uh, each coach is, power, is driven by an electric motor that is sized according to the capacity of the, the coaches. Uh, the road train before can handle, a coach of a road train before can handle 65 passengers. Now the coach of this train, this HET, can accommodate up to 220 passengers. So four passenger coaches in the set can handle almost 900 passengers. But aside from the, the capacity, uh, the major difference, of course, are the tires. The road train uses rubber tires. The rubber tires uh, that we normally use in buses and trucks. But the road, the train, the, the HET uses steel wheels and bogies, which the regular trains use. Aside from uh, the tires, given that the train runs on rail, now the pilot or the driver doesn't need to steer the, the, the vehicle. So the, the train is uh, guided by the rail. So all that the pilot needs to do is to handle the speed correctly and to engage the brakes at the right place and at the right time. Tell us, how did the test run of the HET on the tracks of the PNR go? Actually, the, the HET, the trains, took form as early as July last year, but uh, it was missing some components here and there. So, actual testing started uh, maybe around January this year, but uh, then uh, we had to do some debuggings and some troubleshootings that we were only able to do performance tests by around April. So, in April, we were allotted a 500 meters uh, test track by PNR. With, the 500, with that short uh, length of test track, we were only able to test accelerations, deceleration, and uh, braking at different loads. But uh, we were only able to do speeds up to 20 kph. Uh, we were not able to uh, go any further because of the short distance or the short length of track available. Uh, but uh, the train can handle, supposedly can handle up to 80 kph maximum. And um, hopefully, uh, we, uh, we can be assigned uh, a much longer test track we are uh, discussing this with PNR right now, and I believe uh, they they have identified a longer stretch of uh, tracks from uh, I think Muntinlupa up to Kalamba. So, in a few weeks' time, hopefully we can transfer the train from uh, where it is now at the Tutuban station 
to this new uh, test uh, site at Montendupa to Calamba. So hopefully by uh, April, I, I mean by August, we can start the the speed test, the test uh, load test, speed test from uh, Calamba up to Montendupa. Of course. Um, Hopefully by October we, we will be finished with this test and we can get certified so that the train set will be used commercially. Now, what are the advantages of the HET over those that are currently in use in the country and those that have been ordered from other countries? And can the HET be used by the MRT or LRT? The main advantage of the hybrid electric train over what we have right now at PNR and even at the MRT, LRT is its cost. It is locally made, it is locally designed and fabricated so that uh, there is a much, uh, there is a big reduction in cost. Uh, right now, uh, the project cost is 120 million pesos. I believe the, the cost of the PNR trains that they acquired last two, 2009 is around 160 million pesos. So that's a big reduction in acquisition cost. Plus the 120 million that uh, I said uh, was the project cost is developmental, developmental cost. So much uh, it will uh, get much lower if this uh, train gets uh, commercial uh, commercialized and mass produced so aside from the acquisition cost maintenance cost is a big factor being locally developed and locally fabricated the hybrid electric train was designed to have components that are locally available so we don't need the uh, special procurements uh, for uh, special parts. We don't need to Im import parts. We don't even need foreign consultants to keep this, uh, this train up and running. And to answer if this train can also run at the MRT LRT station, Technically, yes. We just have to change. We have to replace the, the bogies because as uh, for your information, the, the tracks at the MRT, LRT are, are wider than what they have at PNR. So we, ha we just have to change the, the bogies, the steel wheel to match the tracks of the MRT and LRT uh, tracks. Thank you once again for guesting here on Motoring Today. Before we end, would you have any parting words? Uh, yes, Butch. Um, as uh, Secretary, former Sec DOST Secretary Mario Montejo used to say, uh, uh, we have to use science and technology. The use of science and technology for self-reliance in key sector of uh, our society is stated in our constitution. Uh, Mass transportation is one such area. And to be able not to solve this problem by ourselves is short of unconstitutional. We at the DOST MIRDC are doing something about it. And hopefully our government and the private sector will recognize that um, it's about time to start believing in ourselves let us uh, um, not depend too much on uh, on foreign uh, foreign technologies foreign uh, foreign uh, products we ourselves can solve our own problems so hopefully we are very much optimistic that uh, very soon we will have a bustling railway industry of our own Thank you. Thank you once again, Engineer Dizon. Yes, uh, thank you and happy motoring. Engineer Robert Dizon, Executive Director of the DOST MIRDC, with an appraisal of the HET, a Pinoy Design and Develop Hybrid Train. 
this week's guest on Motoring Today's Motoring Forum.